by Primary Care Plus. We are joined to talk about some tips for sun safety. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, what are some of the tips? How can we do a better job in the sun? Yeah, so I mean, one of the things you wanna make sure that you're not going outside during the hottest part of the day. So between 10 and four is really when you get the most sun exposure. And if you do have to go outside, you wanna make sure that you are under a heavily shaded area. You're not doing strenuous exercise. Yeah, absolutely. I can see how doing strenuous exercise could lead to dehydration. And that's one of the other things you gotta be careful of, right? Right, you wanna make sure that you're hydrated, um, making sure that you know, if you want to keep up with your sweat by hydrating more, um, some people wait until they're thirsty. And by that time, you're, you're already dehydrated. And to do that, you want to make sure that you're not going to um, have heat stroke or heat exhaustion if you're not drinking enough fluids. Yeah, you have uh, several tips for us today. What's the next one? Um, so make sure that you are wearing light, loose fit clothing when you go outside or light colors. Um, you want to make sure that you have a big hat big wide brim hat if you're gonna be out in the sun for a long period of time. Sunglasses will protect your eyes, um, making sure that you prevent cataracts because you can get cataracts just from sun exposure. Really? Yes. I didn't realize that. Yes. You know, I thought it was uh, an age thing, but it can be a lot of sun exposure can cause that. Yes, it, it causes oxidative stress on the eyes and then through time it thickens and, and you basically can't see from the sun. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. uh, so those wide brimmed hats or those sunglasses, isn't there a certain thing you're supposed to look for on the sunglasses to make sure that they're good? Um, I, I'm not sure about that. Any, any protection but on the, your eyes is gonna be helpful. Right, right. And then um, making sure that you do buy the right sunscreen, so you want at least thir SPF 30 or higher. Okay. Um, broad spectrum will cover those UVA and UVB waves. Um, and then the reason that we put sunscreen on is to prevent skin cancer. So long extended periods in the sun and um, sunburns before the age of 18 um, can increase your risk of skin cancer. You know, that's a great point uh, for parents out there. Uh, the more sunburns your kids get as a kid, the more likely they are to have problems later on. So we're always trying to protect them. What are some of the ways that we can protect our kids? So a lot of times you see kids uh, with those thin rash guard shirts that they swim in. I love those them. Those are amazing because they are sunproof. Um, and also, you know, get their little bucket hats. Um, that really does help protect them from the sun. Kind of the same uh, tips for adults. Yeah. You just wanna make sure, but you're in charge of your kids, so you get to make sure uh, that they are staying um, sun protected and also hydrated. You know, you gotta make sure that the kids are kind of following those same things making sure that they stay hydrated because sometimes it can be hard to tell when they're out there playing. Right, right. And I mean, another thing that's very important for sun exposure is to make sure you look for the signs of heat, uh, heat stroke. What are those? Um, so excessive sweating, um, dry, hot skin, nausea, dizziness, even some people vomit, and also um, loss of consciousness. And this can be really significant, um, especially in Louisiana, we have you know, a lot of hot days. And if you have someone that's by you or you feel like you're dehydrated to another level, basically, it's not, um, it's, it's an emergent situation. So yeah, you wanna if, go if you get help. If you see someone, um, you know, who unfortunately may have lost consciousness, what is the first thing you do? I mean, do you call 911 or do you start putting ice on them? What's the right thing to do? You definitely don't wanna shock them with cold oh, air okay. and, and ice. Um, you wanna make sure you, get them hydrated but see if they're conscious if they're okay. not conscious then you want to call 911 um, and then work on the other things to try to rehydrate them and get them cooled off but it's a slow process um, for heat stroke so don't put them in an ice bath no. immediately no. you want to bring them back into the AC maybe mm -hmm. and start getting them rehydrated right uh, like you mentioned um, you know primary care plus is uh, sponsoring this segment but trying to make us more informed about some of the things like this that are affecting everyday people what else should we know about Primary Care Plus? Um, Primary Care Plus, it's where, where I'm from, and we care about quality medicine. So, you know, we take time with our patients. A new patient gets an hour, an existing patient gets 30 minutes, and I just really feel like that really helps take care of the whole patient instead of being rushed in and out, and um, so yeah. I That's feel like right. people probably really appreciate that as well. You have time to have yeah. these sorts mm -hmm. of conversations. Uh, I've learned a lot, and I'm sure our viewers appreciate all the information as well. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.